Anisa Bekele and Elliot Kipchoge. These two athletes are extremely special for multiple reasons. First, both runners are highly regarded as two of the greatest distance runners in the history of athletics. But what makes this rivalry so special is just how long they've both been at the top of the running world. Think Jordan versus Kobe, or perhaps Messi versus Ronaldo. In the vast landscape of incredible sporting matchups, they all have one thing in common, and that's complete domination over their sport, with only one other athlete even capable of matching their talents. With the 2020 London Marathon now less than three weeks away, it seems only fitting to take a deep dive into one of the greatest running rivalries in athletics history. In this video, we'll be detailing every single race between the great Ethiopian Kenanisa Bekele and the Kenyan marathon legend Elid Kipchoge. Now the first time these two athletes ever competed against each other was on June 27th of 2003. In the Diamond League meeting in Oslo, Norway, both runners competed in the 5,000 meters. Now at the time, Kipchoge was only 18 years of age, while Bekele was still very young at 21 years old. And even though both runners were just emerging as global talents, they were already running times that challenged the all-time greats. With one lap to go in this race, both Bekele and Kipchoge were right at the front. And over this final lap, Bekele showcased incredible speed down the home stretch, ultimately winning the race in 12 minutes 52.26 seconds. This was the fastest time in the world for the 5,000 meters up to this point, and just one stride length behind Bekele was the 18-year-old Elliot Kipchoge, who ran a fantastic time of 12 minutes 52.61 seconds. Already in their very first matchup, these two athletes created a very special race. However, their next race was one of the all-time greats in distance running history. In the 2003 World Track and Field Championships, both athletes returned to the track in the 5,000 meters. This race was slated as a big matchup between these two runners, but Hisham El Garouge was also expected to run well. Through the early stages, Bekele pushed the pace very quickly, but over the second half of the race, it was Kipchoge who took the lead. Also remember up to this point, Kipchoge was still only 18 years old, and even though he was just a teenager in this race, he would run one of the greatest races of his career. With one lap remaining, El Garouche took the lead and strided away up front. But down the home stretch, the young Kipchoge somehow found an extra gear and incredibly took down this Moroccan legend. With a time of 12 minutes 52.79 seconds, he became one of the youngest athletes to ever win a World Championship gold medal, and to this day, this is still the World Championship record for the 5,000 meters. And finishing just half a second behind Kipchoge was Kenanisa Bekele, who finished third with a time of 12 minutes 53.12 seconds. This would be the last time these two runners competed in 2003, but moving into the following years, every track and field fan was ready to see these two compete. The next competition for these two athletes was the 2004 World Cross Country Championships, and even though Kipchoge was expected to run well, the heavy favorite was Bekele. In both 2002 and 2003, he was the champion over the short course and the long course, and while Kipchoge did win the junior race in 2003, almost everyone saw Bekele as the clear favorite. Almost immediately from the start of this race, both runners sprinted to the front, and while they were running in the lead, they looked incredibly relaxed, even though they were running well under three minutes per kilometer. At the halfway point, Bekele was leading quite comfortably, while Kipchoge was tucked in just behind his Ethiopian rival. As the race continued, both runners remained firmly up front, but with around three kilometers remaining, Bekele shifted gears and completely dropped the entire field. It really was amazing to see how comfortable Bekele was at this point, and while everyone else, including Kipchoge, was struggling, Bekele looked very comfortable in the lead. Down the home stretch, this Ethiopian looked so smooth that it was almost unfair, and finishing over 40 seconds behind Bekele was Kipchoge. This was quite the brutal defeat for Kipchoge, and for quite some time after this performance, he was unable to defeat this great Ethiopian. 
The next time these two runners met was at the 2004 Olympic Games over the 5,000 meters. And just like the year before at the World Championships, they were certainly two of the favorites for the gold medal. But also just like the previous year, Hisham El Garouj was also in this race. Again, on one of the world's biggest stages, these two young athletes were leading the entire field. But unlike 2003, where Kipchoge won the gold medal, El Garouj would ultimately win this race, with Bekele finishing very close behind in second, and Kipchoge finishing about half a second behind in third. This was yet another tremendous race from these two athletes, and with Bekele now holding a winning record of 3-1 over Kipchoge, the advantage now clearly belonged to Bekele. By 2005, Bekele had emerged as the undisputed greatest distance runner in the entire world, and in their very first race of 2005, both runners again clashed at the World Cross Country Championships. And in a very similar fashion to the previous year, Bekele was completely unbeatable, winning soundly over the field and taking down Kipchoge by over 30 seconds. After these cross country championships, it would be almost an entire year before these two would meet again. And on March 12th of 2006, they once again clashed, but this time, it was in the World Indoor Championships over the 3,000 meters. This was somewhat of an atypical racing distance for these two runners, but just like he had done over the previous two years, Bekele ran what can only be described as an absolutely dominant performance. With just three laps to go on this indoor track, Bekele passed Kipchoge and slowly increased the pace. Over these final three laps, he only got faster and faster, and there was simply no one that could catch Bekele. For his final kilometer, he ran a time of 2 minutes and 23 seconds, a split that easily led to this indoor world championship of 7 minutes and 39 seconds. And finishing in third place was Kipchoge, with another solid time of 7 minutes 42.58 seconds. This matchup was a strong predictor that Bekele was now very difficult to beat, and over the next few months, these two competed multiple times, with Bekele maintaining a solid advantage over his Kenyan rival. On July 14th, both runners once again met for a 5,000 meter showdown in Rome, Italy, and for this particular race, Bekele was once again victorious, while Kipchoge had to settle for 6th place. On July 28th, in a 5,000 meter race in London, Bernard Lagat actually managed to take down Bekele. However, he still defeated Kipchoge by just over a second. This was actually quite an impressive race for both Bekele and Lagat, as Lagat ran just under 52 seconds for his final lap. After this race on August 18th, they once again met in a Diamond League meeting in Zurich, and at this point, you can probably tell what happened between these two runners, as Bekele won this race in 12 minutes and 48 seconds, and Kipchoge placed a distant third in a still very impressive time of 12.57. This was a big win for Bekele, as his unbelievable finishing speed led to yet another amazing victory. And then just seven days after this meeting in Zurich, these two once again competed in a 5,000 meter race in Brussels. And yet again, Bekele was victorious, this time winning by an enormous margin of 13 seconds over Kipchoge. 2006 was quite the year for Bekele, and while Kipchoge was still running amazing times, he was simply no match for the great Bekele. Over the next two years, these athletes ran many, many great races, but they would not compete against each other until the 2008 Olympic Games. In the Olympic finals in the 5,000 meters, Bekele at this point was almost invincible. Just six days before this 5,000 meter final, he won the 10,000 meters in a new Olympic record time of 27 minutes and one second. But perhaps the most impressive part of this race was the fact that his final lap was run in 53.42 seconds, and he did this while jogging over the final 50 meters. Clearly, he was in unbelievable shape moving into the 5,000 meter final, but in order to win his second Olympic title of these games, he would have to take down Elliot Kipchoge. Now, if you're familiar with this channel, we've talked about this one race many times, and the reason for that is that this race is truly one of the most impressive endurance performances in track and field history. 
Through 3,000 meters, the field split a time of 8 minutes flat, which is certainly a respectable time for the 5,000 meters. However, over these final five laps, Bekele ran the fastest closing 2,000 meters in track and field history. For his final five laps, he ran a time of 4 minutes and 57 seconds, and for his final four laps, he ran a time of 3 minutes and 56 seconds. A big part of this amazing final stretch was his final lap, which he once again closed in 53 seconds, just like his 10,000 meter Olympic victory. This performance is one of my personal favorites in track history, and finishing only 4 seconds behind him was Elliot Kipchoge, who ran his final 5 laps in 5 minutes and 1 second, which is a finishing time that definitely deserves more recognition. After these Beijing Olympics, it would be exactly one year before these two would meet again, and at the 2009 World Championships, these two once again squared off for a World Championship title. In this 5,000 meter race, both athletes were near the front for almost the entire race, but over the final 400 meters, Kipchoge could simply not hang with the pace, and up front now in the lead battling with Bernard Lagat was Kenanisa Bekele. Somehow, over these final 200 meters, Bekele held off a closing Bernard Lagat, winning yet another World Championship gold medal. Yet again, Bekele pulled off a truly captivating gold medal, while Kipchoge finished just a few seconds behind, but this time, he finished outside the medals in an unfortunate fifth place. These World Championships were quite the finish to the 2009 season, However, there was actually one more race in 2009, and that race was a 3,000 meter showdown at the World Athletics Final. For the first six and a half laps of this seven and a half lap race, the pace was quite slow for the entire field, but with one lap remaining, Bekele did what he had done for the previous four years, and that's run a devastating final lap where he defeated the entire field. This final lap was approximately 52 seconds flat, and even though he ran his final lap in 56 seconds, Kipchoge was only able to finish in ninth place, while Bekele once again brought home the victory. For the next two years, these runners ran many different races, but they did not race until September 16th of 2011. This was a very important race for Bekele and Kipchoge, as just one week before this performance, Bekele actually dropped out of the World Championships in the 10,000 meters, and in the same World Championships, Kipchoge finished a disappointing 7th in the 5,000 meter finals. This 10,000 meter race was also very significant, as it was the exact same location where Bekele had set his 10,000 meter world record just six years earlier. And in a truly excellent performance, Bekele pulled out the victory in this race with a world leading time of 26 minutes and 43 seconds. Unfortunately, almost no footage of this race exists, but this was clearly a very important race for Kenanisa Bekele, who placed first, while Kipchoge still ran a very respectable time, but he was only able to finish fifth in this race. This would be their final matchup for the 2011 season, and moving into 2012, Bekele unfortunately experienced a big leg injury, and even though he pushed forward with his races that season, he was clearly not the same athlete. For their next matchup, both athletes competed in the 2012 Great Edinburgh Cross Country Championships. This race was only 3,000 meters, but Bekele was clearly struggling throughout the entire race. Remember that from 2002 through 2008, he was completely undefeated over any cross country race. However, in this particular race, he was far behind many other athletes, including Elliot Kipchoge. In this 3,000 meter race, Kipchoge finished in third place with a time of 9 minutes and 26 seconds, while Bekele finished in 11th with a time of 9 minutes and 42 seconds. Indeed, this was certainly a different kind of Bekele, and moving into the next race, he would unfortunately continue with his struggle. For their next matchup, they competed in the men's 3,000 meters on May 11th of 2012. And even though Kipchoge was still in world-class fitness, running a very impressive time for this race, Bekele finished almost 10 seconds behind Kipchoge, finishing this race in 7th place, 
which was his lowest finish since 1999. Clearly, Bekele was struggling a lot at this point, and for their next race, both athletes would experience the exact same thing. On July 6th of 2012, Bekele and Kipchoge ran the 5,000 meters in the Diamond League meeting in Paris, France. This race was set up as a big international event, so many great runners were expected to run fast. And even though both Bekele and Kipchoge ran 12.55 for this race, they only finished 8th and 9th place respectively, as the top 6 runners in this race all finished in under 12.50. This was actually a pivotal moment for both athletes, as this would be the final track race where they competed against each other. Following this rather disappointing showing, Kipchoge made his transition completely to road racing, and while Bekele continued running quite well on the track, his fourth place finish at the 2012 London Olympics was definitely disappointing, as he had placed first in this event for the previous two Olympic Games. After this career change for both runners, they once again finally met at the 2014 Chicago Marathon. At this point in their careers, both athletes were still quite new on the marathon circuit. However, with previous wins in the Rotterdam Marathon, the Hamburg Marathon, and a second place finish at the Berlin Marathon, Kipchoge was certainly the favorite for this race. Through the first half of the 2014 Chicago Marathon, both Bekele and Kipchoge were running quite comfortably in the lead pack. But over the closing stages, it was all Elliot Kipchoge who pulled away to win in a fantastic time of 2 hours, 4 minutes, and 11 seconds. This victory was yet another step forward for Kipchoge in his marathon career, but finishing less than 2 minutes behind was the great Bekele, who is now showing great promise for his marathon future. After this race, it would be another 2 years before these two athletes competed, but by this point, Kipchoge was so dominant over this 26.2 mile distance that it seemed nearly impossible for Bekele to challenge Kipchoge. Since their last matchup, Kipchoge had won the London Marathon and the Berlin Marathon, and for his 2015 Berlin victory, he won by 1 minute and 21 seconds, which is one of the largest margins of victory in Berlin Marathon history. Alternatively, Bekele had definitely struggled since their last matchup, and over the previous two years, he had only run one single race, and that was the 2015 Dubai Marathon, where he unfortunately had to drop out of the race due to injury. This 2016 matchup was a big showcase of elite marathon fitness, and with the 2016 Olympics just around the corner, it was possible that the Olympic champion would come from this race. This is called foreshadowing. Over the next two hours, Kipchoge ran one of the greatest marathons of his career, where he ran a time of 2 hours, 3 minutes, and 5 seconds, a time that not only broke the previous course record, but it fell just 8 seconds short of the previous world record. This was a solid victory, and finishing 3 minutes and 30 seconds behind Kipchoge was Kenanisa Bekele, who finished third with a solid time of 2 hours, 6 minutes, and 36 seconds. At this point, the narrative of Bekele versus Kipchoge had completely switched. On the track, Bekele was almost unbeatable, and over the eight years that they had previously competed on the track, Kipchoge only defeated Bekele on three separate occasions. However, at his prime, Bekele was certainly untouchable. Now, for the marathon distance, Kipchoge was the one that was almost unbeatable, and after this 2016 London Marathon, it would take yet another year before these two competed. However, for Bekele's next marathon, before they competed, he would run an absolutely stunning time of 2 hours, 3 minutes, and 3 seconds, a time that was actually 2 seconds faster than Kipchoge's personal best at the time. This was a huge marathon comeback, as this was not only his first major marathon victory, but this was a new personal best by over 2 minutes. This once again launched Bekele into the competitive conversation, and moving into the 2017 Berlin Marathon, it seemed as though he did have a solid chance to compete against Kipchoge. However, for the 2017 Berlin Marathon, Bekele sadly dropped out of this race, and while Bekele's story for this race was quite unfortunate, Kipchoge once again won this race with a finishing time of 2 hours, 3 minutes, and 32 seconds.
After Berlin in 2017, these two once again matched up at the 2018 London Marathon. And for this particular race, Kipchoge was once again untouchable, while Bekele struggled with an 8th place finish in 2 hours 8 minutes and 53 seconds. For this performance, Kipchoge defeated Bekele by over 4 minutes, and at this point in his marathon career, it seemed as though Bekele was possibly done with marathon racing. Meanwhile, Kipchoge continued his complete domination over the marathon distance, and for his next race at the 2018 Berlin Marathon, he set the still-standing world record with an amazing time of 2 hours, 1 minute, and 39 seconds. This performance was so fast that he beat his closest competitor by over 4.5 minutes, and it also took down the previous world record by 1 minute and 18 seconds, making this one marathon performance one of the greatest victories in distance running history. Following this world record run, Kipchoge once again won the 2019 London Marathon in a new course record time of 2 hours, 2 minutes, and 37 seconds. But unlike the previous year, Bekele was not present for this race. Throughout much of 2019, it really did seem as though Kennedy Bekele's running career was possibly over. However, at the 2019 Berlin Marathon, he achieved one of the greatest marathon comebacks in running history. With a finishing time of 2 hours 1 minute and 41 seconds, he ran the second fastest marathon of all time, finishing just 2 seconds away from Kipchoge's incredible world record. This brings us to today. In just over two weeks' time, these two distance running legends are set to compete in the 2020 London Marathon. And the big question now is who will be the victor in this incredible marathon showdown? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and pick who you think will win for the 2020 London Marathon. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.